Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Tuam, and today I'm going to talk with Nima, a Persian comedian who lives in Canada. Now I'm waiting for him to join the chat so that we can start our interesting conversation. I say hi to everyone. I know as usual when we are talking with guests who are in Canada or the US, you guys uh, it's your sleeping time, so you can watch the uh, live show later. Now, Nima is ready, so by any time he will join the chat so that we can start it. Yes, there he is. Let me have the chat. Yes, I send the request. Hey, Nima. Hey, what's up? How are you doing? I'm good. How are you, brother? I'm good, too. You are in good. Toronto now, right? Yes, I am. So how is the weather now? Uh, not bad. You know, it fluctuates. In Canada, you never know. In the morning, it's, it's spring. In the afternoon, it's summer. In the evening, it's winter. And then at night, it's fall again. It's, uh, <laughs> the weather never, never stays the same, so... Yeah, I see. Unlike Cyprus, in here all the time this is sunny. We miss really? the cloudy weather. Yeah. Wow, you're lucky. You're <laughs> in Cyprus right now. Yeah, it's been about eleven years. I'm here. In the middle, I lived in Moscow as well, but most of the time during the wow. last eleven years, I I've been here. That's cool, man. You you're in Moscow. Yeah, it was about a year, and it was really? wonderful. Wow, that's awesome. That's amazing. Yeah, so, Nima, you were born in Iran, right? No. No? No. Born, in, born and raised in Canada. Oh, really? I didn't know that. But you consider yourself a Persian, right? Yeah, yeah, I am. I mean, like, I'm Canadian and, and Persian. You know, I'm all, I'm all those things together. Um, you know, I, obviously, my, my family's from Iran, but um, I was uh, born and raised in Canada. So, you know, I'm a Canadian yeah. guy. <laughs> So it's a kind of a mixed culture anyway. It's because yeah, yeah, pretty much. Are... Yeah. I mean, like, my, um, you know, my, my Farsi isn't 100% either. Um, you know, I can speak it. I can understand it fully. But, um, you know, speaking it is a little tough for me sometimes. But, you know, it's still, still I can get my point across if I need to. <laughs> That's great. So, Nima, yeah, you would know. you please tell us about your background in movie industry or as a comedian? Um, I I started doing comedy six years ago now. I, I I started a YouTube channel back in 2014 when I dropped out of university to pursue my passion, which is comedy and, and like acting and stuff. So, I just kind of I dropped out to pursue all this stuff, and I started my YouTube channel. And you know, it wasn't going that well at, be at the beginning for a while actually and actually the first one of the first videos i posted it, it, it blew up a little bit it, it went viral um and it was persian parents versus white parents i was comparing the two and i was just kind of like imitating my mom in the video and you know compared to like a, a white a canadian mom and yeah, uh, so it went well, but then, um, you know, I've, I've been, you know, so I've been practicing on camera for six years now, pretty much. So at this point where you see me, you know, doing my videos for Instagram and everything, I've gotten to the point where I'm very comfortable on camera and I'm, you know, it's easier for me to act on, on camera and, you know, do my thing. And I actually went to a school in Toronto where I, where I live um, and it's, uh, it's a comedy program. So I went there for two years did that and gained a lot of experience there, a lot of connections, a lot of networking. And yeah, I started doing stand up comedy there. Um, so that's also been like five years that I've been doing that. And yeah, uh, I've, ever since that whole time, I've been performing on stages. I've been, you know, acting, doing acting for TV, for movies, auditions, you know, uh, and um, every day I'm doing content online, as you can, t as you can tell. Yeah, so, what I like about you is that you're very active. There are lots of videos of you on YouTube, on Instagram. Everywhere, It's very yeah. hard to follow all of your work. I, Good. I was, yeah, yeah, I started to watch most of them uh, since yesterday. Oh, okay. I couldn't finish them because there are lots of them. There's too many. Yeah, I know. That was, that's <laughs> the whole point. I mean, because I, I, like, I, I just want to post. 
as much content as I can uh, every day and, you know, just kind of bombard people with content and just got, cause it's my way, it's my form of expression and, you know, letting out my material. So I enjoy doing it. It makes me happy. And, um, and it makes me happy that other people enjoy watching it too. Right. So yeah, it's good. Yeah, I really respect those guys like you who are active and just keep creating. That's wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Always, always never stop. That's, That's it. Wonderful. <laughs> Yeah. And uh, you appeared, as you said, uh, in TV series as well. For example, Beaverton and Butters. Yeah. yeah. So what what was uh, your role there? So uh, for the Beaverton, I was just um, I was I was only I was doing like an opening uh, stand up set for the, the season two premiere. So it wasn't anything crazy, but I, I was I did a commercial for MTV um, at the time in Canada and US. They have MTV. I don't know if they have it anywhere else, but. Um, I did a commercial for MTV and five gum, which is a gum company here. And I got, I got a cool opportunity to open for, you know, the season two premiere of the Beaver 10. And that was like four or five years ago at this point. It was when I was newer. Um, but then after that, I, uh, I started getting an agent. So an acting agent. So I did an RBC commercial. I filmed that last year. Um, and you know, it was pretty cool. And then I did a show. I'm on the show the, the Boys, which is on Amazon Prime. Um, and it's an that was, action comedy, right? Yeah, kind of. It's like a superhero TV show series. It's really cool, actually. It's really funny and just it's just a good show. Um, so I was, that was a really cool role that I, I got to do. It was for TV, obviously. So, and then you know I've just been doing a lot of auditions for TV and movies recently, and um, a lot of cool stuff coming up. And yeah, I'm just gonna continue doing that all the time. So. Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> and you also have your podcast, or you left that? Yeah, no, I do. Yeah, I, I actually have. T I've taken a little break right now because I'm trying to like replan everything, and I'm um fixing, you know, certain things that I want to do with my schedule. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to be posting again regularly every week my my weekly podcast, which is called Finding Nima Podcast, and on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music, um, podcasts everywhere. So yeah. That's that's a weekly thing, and I'm also co-hosting a podcast with my brother, and um, that's a weekly thing as well. So, yeah. And um, what's the topic about? Uh, for my podcast? Yeah. Uh, I I try to make keep it funny, keep it like comedy, but also a little bit of real stuff too. Some serious things, you know. I some personal experiences, you know, maybe some advice I have for people, or I don't know something. Any 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 thoughts I really have. I'll just say I'm on the podcast that's related to the t topics I'm talking about. But overall, I try to make it funny, you know, obviously because I'm a comedian. But, you know, I want to show my, the real side of me as well on my on that platform. So, yeah. So you will you will keep it uh, flexible, as I understood, which is a good strategy. Yeah, keep it flexible. Yeah, you want to you want to um, put your eggs into like many different baskets, right? You want to. On Instagram and on TikTok, I'm doing all my short, funny uh, accents, impressions, funny videos, funny skits. YouTube, long form, you know, podcasts, vlogs, a little bit behind the scenes of my life, um, what the real side of me, um, and then you know, like other things too along the way on stage. I'm I'm more it's also different. So yeah, you just you just got the the point of you know being a comedian and actor and the way to excel is to have variety in your life and your career so it's the best way to do it yeah by the way bahar says that you have a wonderful hair nima oh thank you thank you merci <laughs> merci look at that mm. oh yeah all right <laughs> yeah, I, I had a hat on too actually <laughs> but, uh, my, I'm, I'm lucky i'm lucky right now so nima i know you're a uh, fan of pranks and you had yeah. lots of them, like for example, on the streets, on your mother. <laughs> so, yeah. what do you tell us about it? Yeah, I've I before I started doing any comedy, any anything funny. Um, before I even started my own YouTube channel, I was binging YouTube videos for years. I I, I loved YouTube, going on YouTube, uh, growing up, and just watching so many different people make funny videos themselves, like pranks, skits, you know, like all different kinds of funny videos. And I always looked up to those people who were doing pranks. I'm like, wow, this is so funny. I can do this. I feel like I can do it too, right? Uh, and it's always been interesting to me. I just, I, the, the idea of like kind of like messing with people 
and as a joke is really funny to me and I personally want to still do them even more and bigger and better but with COVID I can't do shit um but yeah I, I so I saw those people doing it and then I eventually was like you know what now that I'm doing my own videos why not try it so I've tried it I've done it a few times I mean I could have done them better but you know I still had to start somewhere and they're just so fun I love doing them and you know obviously uh the pranks on my mom are, are funny too they're they're fun <laughs> and people yeah, really enjoy them you. people Absolutely. enjoy them a lot. yeah so yeah and during those pranks uh did someone got uh, did someone get so angry with you because it, i think it's natural sometimes it happens yeah do you have any memory like someone got really pissed off yeah um a couple times not, not nothing crazy because you know like the 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 pranks i was doing aren't like super reckless or or mean or like kind of offensive really so no one really got that pissed there was one time where i actually did a uh, interview prank where i was interviewing people in my own language in farsi uh and then I, I, at the beginning i was like i started speaking in english but then the next question i started speaking in farsi and then obviously they don't know what i'm talking about and then i just keep speaking in farsi <laughs> And now they're like, what the fuck are you talking about, right? They're like pissed, getting pissed. But one guy, uh, he's just like, oh, okay, you're just messing with me, aren't you? And then he's like, oh, yeah, this interview's over. This interview's over. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. And he kind of like, I was like, <laughs> yeah, no, also you, you released that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was, I did release that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. Um, there was I, also a guy uh, seemed like crusty in The Simpsons. He was just laying down on grass. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was one of the first <laughs> interviews I did, actually. Yeah, th I remember that. Uh, yeah, that was, um, can, can fat guys get girls? I, I, that was the interview I was doing. I was asking people like, oh, can fat guys, can bigger guys, you know, or can they get girls too, right? Can they pick up women? And, uh, that guy was like, he was like homeless, but like, he wanted to be in the video. So I was like, I'm not going to say no. <laughs> and then, so I just asked him the same questions and he was really funny. He was actually, it made it really funny. So yeah, it was good. And besides being homeless, I think he had some mental problems too because he was acting like a schizophrenic guy. Yeah, because he was, you were he, moving yeah. the way you were moving and he didn't notice that. He just he didn't care. That. Yeah, he didn't care one <laughs> bit. Yeah, he was like, this, this is normal. This is normal. Yeah, he was for <laughs> sure on drugs. For sure on drugs. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and it was very risky because in any minute I was thinking, okay, you may get insulted. Or yeah, something like that. Yeah. Unfortunately, he was very cool with it. No, I know. I, I actually, I was nice to him after, like, obviously after two, and I actually paid him because I was like, I don't want to be a, I don't want to come off as like a douchebag and just make fun <laughs> of the guy. So yeah. I, I paid him a little bit because, you know, he's homeless too. So I don't know. I just, maybe I might do it differently next time. But yeah, at the time it was just funny. So I did it. <laughs> Yeah, it was a good gesture that you did that. And do you remember uh, what's the funniest uh, interview that you did? Yeah, there's a there's a lot of funny ones that I did at night times. There, I did a couple of night interviews uh, around the club districts where people would go out and party, and um, people are drunk, so it's funnier that way because they just say whatever they want. You know, they're they're just ah, like. Ah, now that makes sense. Now I understand why they were reacting like this in the movie. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, yeah, there's a lot of funny ones I remember doing at nighttime, um, and then like it had to do with like sexual topics. So people like obviously it just got really funny. Um, that was one of my favorites for sure. Some of those. Yeah, they were very funny. Yeah, thank and you. you were appeared also in uh, Dating Beyond Borders. Yeah, which is hosted by Marina. Marina, Which yeah. A, yeah, it was you know a her? very... Pardon? You know her? No, no, I just watching uh, her videos on YouTube. Okay. He has, she has many followers, about 500,000 followers, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, no. yeah, she's killing it. Yeah, so yeah. How, how did you uh, get uh, introduced to her and uh, you attended in her project? So before I even had a following myself on anywhere on the internet, uh one of my friends actually recommended me to be in one of her videos and so i went and i actually did really well and she really liked me so after that she just kept on bringing me back to do more videos with her as the persian guy so yeah and it's fun it's fun doing her videos you know it's it's cool and um yeah it's just good good exposure for me too yeah her ideas were, were wonderful it was very creative that uh, she's introducing culture and this yeah. is uh, somehow what you are doing too, because yeah, you are kind of. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I like, I like, uh, I just like making, doing accents and impressions of all different kinds of cultures because I, I grew up with all different kinds of people. So I understand everyone's languages and their backgrounds and, you know, uh, what they, what they, how they speak and what their accents are. And I just, I've always enjoyed mimicking other people. It's just been a talent of mine and I naturally just um, enjoy doing it. So I also, want to do that to bring light onto different cultures as well like you know because some people might not know who persian people are which a lot of people don't and then like after they see my videos they're like oh i know more about Persian people now because i'm introducing my my that, that that kind of lifestyle to people who don't know or i don't know uh, italian or russian or whatever right so um my point is to just with good intentions you know kind of like poke fun at different cultures, but also bring them up and, you know, shine some positivity on them as well. Yeah, that's a very good idea to give uh, other layers to it because it's already funny. And when it has other layers like educational levels, that would yeah. be wonderful. And yeah, people exactly. now are just uh, asking for different uh, impressions from you. <laughs> now <laughs> they are interested to see some more. <laughs> well, yeah. which one is your favorite, by the way? Any favorite accent? People always ask me this, and it's 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 always so hard to to choose because I like them all, I really do. But um, my favorite one to do, uh, I do love doing the Russian accent. Uh, obviously, the Persian one because it's the easiest for me. Um, you know, any, like Italian, the Canadian Italian stuff, or any Italian. Um, yeah, like Southern accent, like Southern U.S. Um, and I'm, I've, I have some other ones too, but like sometimes I don't want to do it because I don't want to come off as racist because like, especially yeah. with these days, you know, everyone's always offended at everything, but I don't ever mean it in a bad way when I do the accents. So, but yeah. How often do you uh, receive such messages from your fans that we got insulted by this accent or something like that? Um, like pretty much like every few days, every couple of days. Oh, so yeah. you receive a lot. Yeah, I get, I've done a lot. Yeah, like, I mean, I, I don't really care because so, those people are just, they're attacking me for no reason. So I either just ignore it or I delete them or I block them. But yeah, it's, uh, I'm used to, I'm used to that now. But, uh, you know, the differences between accent is something that makes this uh, world beautiful. And this is very uh, fun that we have the different accents. And yeah. it's not like we are just insulting them. We are just having fun with it yeah that's it exactly i'm just it's just it's funny for everyone i think it should be and it's uh, it's um i'm never saying anything hateful and i'm making fun of everyone equally so yeah you know you are no making fun of persian accent this is yeah that's like the main <laughs> so, one like that's my own people so <laughs> yeah so that's not but i doesn't mean i don't like them or i hate them it's just that's just funny it's just funny Especially in Persian one, I like the way you say eh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> eh. Yeah, that's very funny. <laughs> I also use it with my mother. Good. Whenever, whenever she says something against me or she tries to criticize me, eh, <laughs> eh, she <laughs> called me funny. What the heck? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, and you mentioned about Russian accent. Can you uh, show us uh, some? Yeah, for sure. Yes, yeah. I like to do Russian accent. In uh, I talk to doctor to him right now for Instagram <laughs> live. Uh, it's not bad. It's not bad. I like doing accent. Uh, Russian accent is one of my favorite accents. So you know, I I grew up in Moscow, Russia, and uh, you know, I have big family. I have big family, and uh, that's it. You know, I'm glad at least you don't use the Borat's lines. <laughs> About no. cram, for example. That's no, good. no. Yeah, that's all Bora, right, yeah. <laughs> so, and by the Mother way, I Russia. Was... Mother Russia. <laughs> Mother Russia, yeah. So uh, I saw also some of your videos with K1. So uh, how did you guys meet? So I, I was a big fan of him before I started doing stand-up. And then I actually watched the show as, of his one year before I started doing stand-up. I met him and Amir K at the show and um that was the year where i started doing stand-up and then the year after or a couple years after um i saw that k was coming to toronto 
to perform. And I just messaged them on Instagram. I was like, hey, I'm a big fan. Um, I'd love to open for you when you come to the show. And he got back to me pretty quickly. And he's like, yeah, sure, send me a video. So I sent him a video of me doing stand up and he liked it. He thought it was funny. So he's like, yeah, come and open for me. I opened for him for seven minutes. It was great. And then after that, um, we did a bunch of shows together. We, uh, we toured in the States. He brought me to the States, uh, toured like Texas, New York, Connecticut, uh, California, like all over, you know, Midwest. Um, and, uh, you know, some, some places in, in Toronto and yeah, it was, it was a really cool experience. So any news from, uh, Amir K by the way? No, I love that guy. He's, he's my favorite. Yeah. yeah we, I don't we, know where we, is he this day. He's well, he's, he just does stand up, right? So he, and, uh, he has a podcast too, but yeah, he's just, I don't know. He's in LA. Um, but we follow each other and we talk sometimes, which is pretty cool. Cause that guy, I've always looked up to him and then now he follows me and it's crazy how it works. Yeah. He's very funny, especially the one with the uh, Persian dad and yeah. you are doing the similar things. So there. good. Yeah. So good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, what's your dream in movie industry, Nima? Uh, I want to be a big movie star, man. I tell everyone every day. I'm, I, I manifest it every day. Um, I even write it down on my, on my whiteboard. I want to be a movie star. I want to be big. I want to be one of the best comedians and actors of all, like ever. And I just, I, I just, I, I like to think highly of that and, you know, I manifest it. And then obviously I put in the work too. Right. So eventually it'll pay off and, I'm, I want to, yeah, I just want to be great and help other people along the way too, if I can. Yeah, definitely. It will happen for you because you are very active as the way you are going. You are in the right track. I'm sure it will happen for you. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. It means a lot. <laughs> and during your standup, by the way, uh, did you receive any uh, crazy heckle? Yeah, sometimes. Not, 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 uh, not a lot, but uh yeah there's obviously a lot of times where people would just like yell stuff in the middle of my set but then i'll just sh i'll just shut them up by saying something back <laughs> um <laughs> usually people just like yelling stuff like i don't know like i say a joke and then they're like oh yeah or like something that's related to what i just said um no one's ever thrown anything at me um but i've seen other comedians get stuff thrown at them um like apples beer <laughs> um and uh yeah actually one time, even received punch no i haven't seen that yeah <laughs> i've heard of that. i've heard of that though but um, i think uh, louis ck for example received uh twice oh really yeah oh okay i didn't even know that yeah i'm, I'm not surprised <laughs> a lot of people hate him now so um i get it but uh yeah like some someone um i i was performing and there's these three people in the front row and they're really drunk and every time i would say something they would like yell they'd be like ah yeah and they're not even laughing they're just making noise and so at one yeah. point i was like hey can you guys shut up this is a monologue not a dialogue and then like they literally like they actually started dying of laughter they just liked what i said and then they actually just shut up for the rest of the night so it was pretty cool but yeah i, I i'm not like i'm not an offensive per person on stage so I don't really get heckled like that. Um, but I mean, who knows? It might happen sometime in my career, but I'll be prepared for it. You know, gotta, gotta, gotta roast them back. Gotta roast yeah. them back. You know, so. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. And uh, by the way, uh, Nima, we have a challenge on our page named Crazy Eyebrow. I know you will nail it. It's just we pull one eyebrow up, one down. Can you do that? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Just one eyebrow. I can't do this side. <laughs> yeah, there are many people they can do with just one left, but not right, for example. <laughs> this is a challenge, you see? <laughs> I can't, I can't do this. And it's interesting that, uh, but usually comedians do it better than uh, most of the other actors. <laughs> you are trying. Yeah, I know. I can't. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> It, it takes time. I know you. Yeah, will yeah I'm going to practice too. now. I'm going to practice. Yeah. And for example, yeah. Maz Jobrani does it often. Yeah, he does. Yeah, crazy eyebrow thing. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have the best eyebrows, though. So sorry. Yeah, everybody. that's cool. My eyebrows are on fleek. <laughs> you see that? And... <laughs> oh, baby. 
<laughs> awesome. Yeah. So, uh, Nima, have you ever been in uh, Cyprus before? No, I'd love to go. I've never been to anywhere in the Middle East or Mediterranean even. Like, um, I want to go to Greece. I've been to Italy, uh, but Europe, some places in Europe, but I've never been to Cyprus or Greece or like places like that. So yeah, one day, one day I'll come. Yeah, we are waiting for you here, especially if there will be a stand-up comedy show here. That would be wonderful. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, if you want to organize it, bring me up. Yeah, yeah, that, that's what I'm trying to do actually here. All right. And that would be very nice. But after COVID, obviously. Yeah, of course. Yeah, maybe in 10 years. <laughs> in 10 years. Yeah. yeah that, I don't know why they are progressing so slowly. I don't know. Well, especially over here in Canada, everything sucks. And uh, America is even worse, so yeah. I, don't, I don't see them getting better anytime soon. Yeah, unfortunately. So, Nima, would you like to add something? I know uh, you are in rush, you need to go somewhere. So, yeah. would you like to add something? Yeah, I, I was going to say those guitars in the back, you play? Yeah, actually, I play electric guitar and recently I started to play bass guitar. Wow, that's cool, man. Thank you. You want to you you play really quick? I'll, I'll do a quick singing thing. I suck at just improvising <laughs> something. <laughs> you yeah. know, I usually post videos maybe each few years, just one song, oh. <laughs> just one cover, something like that. I get it, so, I get it. It's okay, because, you know? Because as as you, I trying. do it... Huh? As long as you're trying and you love it, that's all that matters, man. Yeah, this is just a hobby, you know? My main yeah. job, yeah, I'm a university professor, so oh, it's nice. far from entertainment. That's hey, it. that's cool, man. What do you, what what? Do you, uh, what do you teach? Uh, I'm teaching mathematics mostly. Oh, like a true Persian, yeah. You do the <laughs> math, mathematics. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Uh, do you play any musical instrument, by the yeah, way? Yeah, yeah, I play, I play the drums. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, how serious are you in playing drums? Uh, drum? Not that serious right now, but I used to play for like seven years before I stopped. Oh, okay, like, that's great. I want to get back into it. It's really fun. I've always wanted, I love it. I love it. I've always wanted to play more, but I just, I had to sell it at one point and I stopped playing for a few years. But drumming is like one of my favorite passions for sure. That would be lovely to see your videos with drumming. I will. That I will do it perfect. soon. Yeah, one day soon. Yeah. Because I want to yeah. incorporate more things like that into the videos, um, which will be cool. So that, we'll see that would be day. cool. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Maybe some Dombak. <laughs> Yeah. So, Nima, thanks a lot for your time today. No I problem, really man. appreciate it that you yeah. joined us for today. For sure. Yeah, no, it's, it's my pleasure. And uh, I appreciate you uh, supporting and watching my videos and, you know, reaching out to me to, you know, do this with you. Um, I, I love doing stuff like this. So, you know, I don't mind it. And um, yeah, anytime, man. So <laughs> thank you. Yeah, it was very fun talking with you. I never get enough. And uh, hopefully we will be in touch and we will make uh, cool things happen in the future, hopefully. Yeah, 100%, man. I'll be in Cyprus one day. One day. That would be perfect. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, you, Nima. You actually, and... um, you actually kind of look like my cousin. It's, it's funny. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like someone a... also in the comments say you guys are look alike. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Maybe because of the glasses. Maybe, man. Maybe, yeah. Maybe we're, we're long lost cousins, maybe. Who, who knows? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, well, yeah, thank you. And uh, thanks for anyone who's listening and watching. I appreciate all you guys. You're all really awesome. And um, yeah, shout out to everyone. Have a great Thank day. Thank you, Nima. Thank you, everyone. See you. Bye-bye. Thank you, doctor. Bye-bye. All right. Take care. Bye.